just packing the ute for another little day trip. I'm being tight ass today and <laughs> taking me own lunch. It's probably better to do. I should probably do that more often. The amount of times I stop and buy food. Cost a fortune down the coast. Doesn't matter where you go. So I don't think we're gonna go too far today. Um, I reckon we'll stick around sort of Anglesey area. Actually, we're thinking about going kayak and just like hiring the kayaks and going through the river there. Um, we used to do that heaps, but we haven't done it for at least a year now. Yeah, I was looking on the maps this morning trying to find a different place to go, but all the places I actually want to go to are way further down the coast and it's too far to drive for a day. I'd do it if I was on my own. I love going on big drives, but it's too boring for me son, so yeah, wait till we've actually both got holidays and I'm just going to take off down the coast and like stay a few nights somewhere and um, it's just, to me, it's so much nicer, like way further down the coast, it just gets so much more rugged um, and it's heaps easier to find like spots to yourself. Um, it's so busy, sort of for the first half of the Great Ocean Road I reckon, yeah there's like less towns and stuff like that further down and yeah it's so much better. Let's put on some music to get in the mood for today's F. So I've just pulled over near the Wensleydale plantation on um, Bamber and Aries Inlet Road. It's not like the most prettiest spot just because it's, <laughs> it's where all the logging goes on and all that. But it's nice and quiet and no one really comes out here. All right, you want me to time you? Where are you going to go from? Just to, the, just to the edge and back. Ready, set, go. That was 12. Yeah, you got to try and beat that score down your way back. Yeah, that was 10. Two seconds faster. But yeah, I'm going to get the drone up anyway. I actually crashed this drone about a year ago. Literally about 300 metres around the corner. <laughs> um, I had it tracking my ute, so it was flying by itself as I was driving. And um, yeah, I... Just, I let it go for way too long. I was looking on the screen, trying to concentrate on driving, and I just thought, this is awesome. I can tell I'm getting some good footage here. And yeah, because it's, if it's in sport mode, the sensors don't work. <laughs> so they get um, deactivated, which is the fast speed I needed to have it on that. So I could keep up with the ute doing about 60 kilometers. And it hit a tree and fell to its death. <laughs> but got it replaced. So it's a brand new drone. So. I was pretty happy about that, didn't cost too much either. It's funny, I was just talking about how safe the drones are and then <laughs> saying how I've crashed one and stuff like that. I just bloody cut my finger, landed it on my hand. I've done it that many times, but just did the dumbest thing. It was the way I was holding. I must have had it like this. It was the way I grabbed the drone. Grabbed it like that, but then this pinky was up. So it must have been one of these back propellers. Fuck it. It was pissing out blood too, but it stopped now. Scott, you are, you won't be able to see it on camera. <laughs> two, two clean cuts straight through there. They look quite pretty decent too. It opens up a fair bit, but shit happens. Give you this first aid kit would come in handy. 
<laughs> oh, I get real shitty at myself when I do things like that. Even though it was nothing, it's it's fine. But it looked worse than what it was when it first happened. It was like pissing out blood. It's funny. I've done that so many times. Hand take off and land. I always do that, especially when you're in grass because the propellers just get tangled in it. It's just the way I grabbed it with my hand. Oh, that's so stupid. I was going to make a coffee. I don't think I've tried one of these before. Flat white in a packet. Sure, that's going to be exciting. Not that I'm a coffee connoisseur. I hardly ever drink it, to be honest. I swear it doesn't even do anything. Drinking coffee does give you energy. I don't reckon. Not that you drink it. <laughs> I have once. What? Drank a Thai bit. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> remember you went and had a Thai sip? Me? Yeah. Can't remember that. Because I dipped my coffee, I dipped my cookie in there. Oh, well. yeah, yeah. You didn't have a whole coffee, though. <laughs> Love this thing. It's Kmart's version of the Jet Boil, which is about at least 200 bucks from memory. This one was like 60. Does the same thing. Well, it does what I need to anyway. Boil water. That will do. That just screws on. There we go. Yeah, can't really tip over. It's a stronger base. If you know what, it's not giving off a spark. That's all right. Doesn't matter. Got it back up. Turn on the light off the top. Don't light it down the bottom. There you go. Says you don't need milk. Must have that delicious powdered milk inside the sachet. <laughs> All right, moment of truth. Hmm. like shit. My son just spotted a wedge-tailed eagle. I haven't seen one for ages. Don't see him at home, but yeah, out here there's heaps of them, but holy shit, it was massive. But yeah, another little story with the drone. Um, this is long after I first brought it too. I gave my son a go and all he did was, it was out here too, by the way, out here somewhere. And um, all he did was take it straight up. He didn't even fly anywhere. It just went straight up just above the canopy of the trees. And um, next thing, this massive wedge-tailed eagle just starts flying in circles around the drone. And um, I was too slow to think at the time. I should have pressed record and just, you know, kept the drone pointing on it. I shit myself instead. I thought, this thing's going to attack the drone, which I've seen tons of videos of that happening on YouTube. I was like, shit, I don't want that to happen. So I just quickly grabbed the remote off him and just took it straight down. Spewing though, because the wingspan on it was absolutely insane. Like, it's like a bloody pterodactyl. <laughs> yeah, we'll head off from here now. Gee, I've been here for about an hour now. Had some lunch. Had a delicious coffee. But yeah, we're going to head into Anglesey now. Um, my son's hanging a go kayaking, so that'd be good. I haven't done that for ages. And yeah, I'll try and do a bit of filming on that too. Show you the sexy life jackets they give you. Looks like they're made in like the freaking 1800s. <laughs> oh, finally back in the kayaks at Anglesey River. It's so relaxing. It's a perfect day too. It was a bit chilly earlier on, but yeah, it's super nice now. Got the captain at the front there. He's doing an awesome job. <laughs> Let's go, Zeph. Home sweet home. Your house smells that good because I've had a roast lamb in the slow cooker since like nine o'clock this morning. So I can't wait to have that later on. That was a wicked day, except for nearly taking my finger off with a drone. <laughs> I still can't believe I did that. I was so stupid. What a dickhead, honestly. <laughs> uh, I won't do that again, though. It's what takes one near miss. And yeah, I'll grab it properly next time. Silly thing is, I usually take off and land on the solar panel that's on the roof of my ute. It's like the perfect spot for it, but nah. I'm trying to be a hero on camera. Today was awesome though, like we both had that much fun. I always start the days doing something that 
I like doing, which is the driving. I love going for drives like that in the bush and then along the coast and all that. But that's not super fun for my son. So I always end the day with something he loves doing. So I've always done that just so we both get a good day out of it. And, um, yeah, that's why I burnt kayaking. But, yeah, that's something we used to do a lot, but haven't done it for ages, like way too long. I reckon it's nearly been two years. And that's one thing I've been loving about making these videos. Like, usually I'm pretty self-motivated and stuff, but just went through a phase of, I don't know, just being a little bit lazy with, like, getting off my ass and going and doing things like that. Like, I still did it, but I don't know. It's just different, I feel like, because I'm sharing it with other people. It's make you, making me want to do sort of different things, like not just do the same thing all the time, which I usually get in a rut of doing. It's just, still fun for me, but I don't know. This is just a whole new thing now. It's just making me want to put a little bit more effort in. And, yeah, just I'll try and do something a little bit different every week now. Um, but I'm not going to force it at the same time. So, yeah, I think that's the way to go. And yet one of the things I've been loving about making these two is I'm usually someone who I think more than I actually speak. So that was a weird thing to get used to. I feel like I can get the hang of it. But yeah, it's it's weird to describe. I don't know. It just feels feels really good to do. Like it's it's like it's instead of just having conversations inside up here, <laughs> I'm actually getting them out now. So yeah, I'm loving it. I keep slowly just swiveling around, trying to show off me photos in the background there. <laughs> Dickhead. But yeah, anyway, that'll do for that one. I think my goal for now is to try and keep them to about 10 minutes, around about the 10 minute mark long. That second one I put up, I would not be surprised if no one watched that or just skipped right through it, which I wouldn't blame them. Went for bloody 17 minutes. <laughs> I think I left way too much absolute shit in that one. But yeah, anyway, I reckon... Yeah, keep it shorter, 10 minutes. Don't want to waste too much of people's time. <laughs> Definitely not really worth it. I'm just talking absolute shit the whole time. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one.